He wants to feel important, and we know how special are Marseille fans. This is why uh, Obama Young is really tempted, but now he's trying to reach an agreement also between clubs. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Fabrizio Romano here, as always, to keep you posted on the transfer market. And today, guys, we touch on Rasmus Oilund, Marcus Rashford, Bruno Fernandes, Chelsea, and Piero Obama Young future, but also situation to watch Chelsea in terms of centre backs. Let's jump into it together. <music> And so guys, welcome back here on the channel and today I wanted to start with the news probably of the moment about Manchester United because Man United star Marcus Rashford has finally signed his new contract at Manchester United. It's signed, it's completed, all the documents are okay, just waiting for the official statement so Man United will prepare of course something special to announce uh, the new contract of Marcus Rashford, of course, in terms of media, in terms uh, of content, but it's done. Rashford signed a new deal at Manchester United. This is something we revealed with an exclusive news. It was day 19 of June, so one month ago, and now in July, in one month, my United have been able to complete and seal the agreement with um, Marcus Rashford, with his camp, and now everything is completed. So Rashford stays, contract valid for the next five years, 2028, this is a big news for United because there were no more options included in the current deal. The current contract was due to expire in summer 2024. Many clubs were keeping an eye on the Rashford situation, so a very dangerous one for May United. But also, what happened one year ago? Paris Saint-Germain wanted Rashford one year ago. Uh, it was a concrete target for uh, PSG. And so, guys, uh, this is why for Manchester United it was crucial to reach an agreement with Rashford. They did it. It was very fast negotiation in the final uh, weeks when they had to agree on the final details. And so, congrats to United. Rashford is staying. And let me say that Eric Ten Hag was crucial for this decision of Marcus Rashford. Also, about Bruno Fernandes, I told you in a video earlier uh, that uh, Bruno Fernandes is the big favorite to become the new captain of Manchester United, waiting for Tenag final communication. But he's the big favorite to replace Harry, Harry Maguire as captain. But also, I wanted to add something that I revealed today on my social media platforms. Bruno Fernandes has rejected some approaches from Saudi. It was beginning of June, not now. This is kind of behind the scenes content. But at the beginning of June, Saudi clubs approached Bruno Fernandes. He said, no, thanks. I want to stay at May United. Bruno trusted May United project since day one, since he joined the club. In difficult moments, he's always been there fighting and helping the club. And now Bruno wants to stay. Bruno wants to win at Manchester United and he hopes to do that as a captain. So, Bruno Fernandes is staying and said no to Saudi. Also about Manchester United, Rasmus Hoilund. I told you yesterday, guys, that uh, the priority now for United after Andre Onana is to go for Rasmus Hoilund, and this remains the idea into the club. Of course, they also want a new centre-back. Let's see with Izazi, who is in the list at Newcastle at United. They want a new defensive midfielder, but for Amrabat in the list and other options, not only Amrabat, it depends on what's going to happen uh, in terms of outgoings with Fred, with Van de Beek, for Rasmus Hoilund now for Manchester United is time to prepare the opening official bid. So May United are discussing internally about the opening bid for Hoilund. They never sent any official bid at the moment. They had some exchange with Atalanta through intermediaries to understand how much they wanted. And from what I'm told, it's something around 70 million euros. So then let's see if this is going to be uh, something to be negotiated in the next days or if Atalanta will remain firm on their position to ask for 70 million euros. But this is the potential fee for Rasmus Hoilund. So let's see how the conversation between Atalanta and Manchester United will go. We know Atalanta very well. It's never easy, guys. I'm Italian to negotiate with Atalanta. They are very tough negotiators. Sometimes they change the price during the negotiation because they try to keep their, ju their jewels and to uh, keep the players at the club. Also, they signed Holland just one year ago, so they still hope to keep him. But from what I'm told, the player is super keen on the move. Holland wants to try a top club experience. He was a May United fan as a kid, so Hoilund is super keen on the move to May United, but now it's crucial to see how much United will beat to Atalanta for Rasmus Hoilund. But he's the target number one at Manchester United right now. They also explored other options as um, strikers, including uh, also uh, Randall Colomboni, but Hoilund is the big favorite. And the opening bid is coming after these exchanges with Atalanta by proposing some potential player into the deal, but Atalanta won't money, no players included 
as of now. And then Chelsea, guys. Uh, we said about Caicedo, the conversation continue, but also about Chelsea. Pierre Obama Young is getting closer to Olympic Marseille. Obama Young has been in negotiations with Saudi clubs, but he's not, con he's not convinced about that. He wants to continue in Europe. And now Olympic Marseille agreed terms with Obama Young. The contract is ready. Three year deal for Obama Young at Olympic Marseille. Obama Young said yes. He thinks Marseille is a fantastic place to uh, be back, to be an important player. He wants to feel important, and we know how special are Marseille fans. This is why uh, Obama Young is really tempted, but now he's trying to reach an agreement also between clubs. I saw some reports of 6, 7 million euros fee uh, to sign Obama Young. I can tell you that the feeling that Marseille have is that they can do it for less than 6 or 7 million euros. They can do something way different because Obama Young uh, wants to live on very easy conditions and good conditions. So way less than 6 million euros, probably with a very good formula for Marseille. So negotiations are going, but Marseille want Obama Young, have an agreement with Obama Young, waiting to see if they can agree with Chelsea very soon. And then for Chelsea, bad news. I really want to wish all the best to Wesley Fofana. Really unlucky guy, a fantastic centre-back, a fantastic talent, but really unlucky with injuries. Uh, Chelsea communicated about this uh, knee injury, new injury for uh, uh, Wesley Fofana. We hope it's nothing serious. Of course, Chelsea will keep us posted with the information about Fofana, so we wait about that. But of course, uh, the feeling is that in case this injury will be something serious, and again, we don't know, I don't want to mention anything about that, and this is going to be something uh, in Chelsea hands, and we really wish all the best to Wesley Fofana with a top player and deserves to be on the pitch and we see we hope to see him on the pitch very soon but in case the injury will take some weeks or months uh, for uh, for Fana to be back the idea of Chelsea is to explore the center backs market to find maybe uh, a solution in the final days of July or in the first weeks of August at the moment still nothing advanced still nothing concrete they want to wait for Fofana and of course the priority is Fofana but let's see how this story will go and remember that for Chelsea the message on Livy Colwell is always the same is not for sale and this is very clear for Chelsea Football Club and so guys let me know your thoughts on all these stories about centre-backs at Chelsea also about Pierre Aubameyang Manchester United Rasmus Hoylund Bruno Fernandes Marcus Rashford let me know your opinion guys Hit in the comments, like this video, turn on the notification bell, subscribe to the channel. See you soon with Fabrizio. Ciao.